Hey y'all, it's Renessa here at Artisans, and I just wanted to pop on here. Um, I realized that I am nearly through 2020, and um, what a year it's been. <laughs> um, but I've been pretty much in the year, all year, with this one notebook, um, and it is a Tecacoma. Tecacoma, let me look at that up real quick because I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, give me one second. Ooh, I'm sorry. Totally knocked the camera there. Um, I had to look it up on my Amazon account. It is a Tikacore B6 Tomoe River Notebook, and it is a hardcover, and it's dot grid. Um, and so anyways, I just wanted to do a quick review of it, since I have been in it for nearly a year. I've been in it since February. Um, I started out in a lot smaller notebook and it was way too small for me so I had to move into a B6 because I love the B6 size and so I just wanted to sh show you there's not a lot of reviews on this notebook that I could find um, and in fact I'm moving from this into a Stylogy which is probably the more popular notebook uh, out there and it is a little bit more flexible so that's probably why <laughs> and I do prefer that as well um, but I'm moving into this in 2021, if the Lord does not come back before then. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to show you guys kind of the paper quality and um, some different things. So, when I was first setting this up, uh, it does take a long time for your pens to dry. If you have a really wet gel pen or um, fine liner or anything that's really inky, I will go ahead and say that off the top. Um, as you can see, I smeared quite a bit when I was setting this up, but it doesn't bother me. I mean, it kind of looks like I meant to do that. <laughs> it's, it's got ink everywhere. Um, and so that is one thing to note. And it is, there are very thin pages. Um, so as you can see, like, when I make a mistake, I typically glue the pages together. So this is kind of like a... A glued together piece and you can see I don't know if you can see the ghosting under there um, so it does ghost a little bit I've not really had any trouble with bleed through at all um, only just with certain like really really like sh the sharpie um, pins these pins right here if I can find one to show you uh, sharpie fine liner retractable pins. I love these pins. Uh, they're probably some of my favorite pins, but they are very harsh on any paper, and there's not a paper I've found so far that can hold up to this pin. <laughs> so I don't use it that often, even though I love it, because it is retractable and it is a fine liner. So anyways, um, if they would make a retractable uh, Sakura, what is, what is the term I'm looking for? I always go blank on these things. Uh, Sakura Pigma. Yeah, P Pigma. If they would make these retractable, they would be the perfect pen. Like, perfect. Does anybody else agree with me? Or is, it just, is that just me? Okay. Anyways, moving on <laughs> back to the uh, notebook. So, as you can see, I've gotten a lot of use out of this. Um, I don't think there's anything that I want to hide from you guys, but... This is in March when all the coronavirus stuff started happening. Um, so it it does, even though it's really thin paper, it does hold up to like scrapbooking really well, which I like. Um, and I do a lot of journaling. So this is all with fountain pen, you guys. Um, and Tomoe River paper never fails. Uh, with fountain pen it does not bleed through ever it does ghost a little bit and if that bothers you then I'm sorry it just doesn't bother me because once you fill in the next page it it just doesn't it doesn't come through what you're putting on the next page so I don't know if that may be a big deal to some people but it's not to me so uh, as you can see I missed a few days I always do <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing a flip through. Oh, this was with Tombow markers. And as you can see, it did, it did ghost 
so much, but it didn't bleed. So I was real impressed with that. Um, and this is super thin Tumblr River paper. Like the it is not the thick GSM Tumblr River paper. Um, but anyways, so that's how they hold up to pins. And I'll show you my pen test um, pages. So here, if you guys can see that, um, this is the Uni Energel, Pentel Energel uh, 0.7 millimeter, and it is a permanent gel ink. So if you put watercolor over it, it doesn't, it's not supposed to uh, smear, which is rather impressive, and it doesn't. Um, and on the other side of this, it doesn't come through either. It just does, it did ghost just a little bit, but not bleed through. Um, I've had virtually no bleed through in this notebook. I've just had some really heavy ghosting, but that's it. So, and I've tried several pens. Like these are some brush pens that I got from Daiso. These are some Tombows. Um, this is a J-Ho fountain pen. Uh, these are the brush pen, colored brush pens from Tombow as well. But they're the smaller uh, ones. And so, anyways, as you can see, that is that. And it's got 300, I think, 90 I'm I'm up to 361 on this back page here, and that's not including my pen test. But I've also glued so many pages together. Um, because typically when I mess up, I don't feel like trying to cover it up. I just assume glue the page together and start anew. <laughs> so, oh, and I wanted to show you this. This is watercolor with Letter Sparrow watercolors. And... They're very smooth. They're not chalky. This um, paper is very smooth. But you can feel the texture of the watercolor. Like you can tell that there's paint on this page. But it's not... It just it doesn't rub off on your hands. Of course these watercolors are super amazing. But as you can see, I did this after. I had already written on this page. And no lead through whatsoever. So pretty exciting you guys I just think this is a very underrated uh, notebook and I probably will use it again I just wish that it would come in a softer cover I prefer more flexible covers um, as you can see my my new TN is super floppy and I love that um, so there you have it the Tekikora B6 dot grid Tomoe River notebook review I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more I will be doing a full flip through probably of this 2020 notebook once I have it totally filled out I've got a few more pages left and then also I am moving into my new B6 Theology if the Lord tarries and doesn't come back within <laughs> within 2020 which honestly after this year nothing would surprise me and I'm ready to go if he does so hope you guys have a great day bye